So today we're going to be talking about FPV drone motors. And this is like the update of every single motor that I've used until from 2017 to 2018 first quarter, which is the first three months. And um, yeah, I'm just going to give my experience and my thoughts and my opinions so far on them. So I've used plenty of motors. Now, I can't fit every single quad I have here or every single motor that I have here. But there's a couple that really stand out for me. Now, I've used the DYS Mars. I've used the DYS Fire, Storm, uh, Racer Star, F60s, F40s. What else? Emacs. What else is there? A bunch of other ones, too, that uh, hasn't even made it on the channel. Um, and, but the ones that really stand out the best for me, from budget to expensive, are the ones that I'm going to show right now. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about them. The first, let's start with the budget. The budget is the Racer Star 2306 2400 KV. Now, the 2400 KV is very important because the 2700 KV feels less torquey and less powerful than the 2400 KV. So, I highly recommend you get the Fire or the S 2400 KV from Racer Star. They're like seven, eight dollar motors. They're insanely good, insanely powerful, very cheap. You break it, it's cheaper replacing these than an antenna on your, uh, your VTX antenna on your quad. So yeah, ignore, yeah, if you're like, why does this look like, this is my waterproof quad. So yeah, it was, it was pretty fun to build. And um, yeah, it's, the, my Racer Star motor is still performing till this day and I still love them. They're very cheap, very good, and you can have an amazing time as a backup budget quad. Or they're, you know, for new people, it's good. Not the fact that they're less powerful, no, but the fact that they're cheaper because you're definitely going to be breaking a lot of things. I still break things to this day. And I've been flying for quite a while, so I constantly break a lot of things. Now, let's jump to the DYS. Now, the DYS, I, personally, I don't recommend and I wouldn't get myself anymore. But I would get for the channel. But personally, like for me, I wouldn't get because um, they're very fragile. I've broken, like this one is broke. One of these is broken here. I just ran into a tree branch and it broke. Now, other motors, I've ran into poles and they didn't break either. This is a broken one. I think it's just a bent bell. Now, the DYS motors from the Storm, Mars, all of those, they always feel underpowered, you know? And the underpower doesn't come from efficiency because I can never really get any longer flight time with them. So, personally, for me, I really just try to not get them because I just, I'm just i just going to be disappointed for 20 bucks, $25 motors. They're premium priced motors. They're, they're, for, for me, it's a disappointment from the other motors that I've used. Um, so, yeah, that's something to take note of about DYS here. Now, let's take a look here. Now, let's move up to another good budget motor that I've used and I'm actually still using. And this is this is the giveaway quad. This is using some $15 2306 motors. They're called the Eagle Power. I'll have everything linked down below. These are very good. Uh, they do have they're very, they're pretty powerful, not as powerful as the more expensive motors, but you're going to have an absolutely amazing time. I don't mind flying this one at all. It's, that's how good it is. Uh, DYS actually feels sometimes a little bit less lack, lacking than the than other motors, but these were very good. They're very notchy, as you can tell. So that means they do have some quite a good torque here. So these motors, I really do recommend. They're a step up from the Racer Star in price point and a little bit of quality, but they perform about the same. So yeah, take that into consideration. Uh, the quality here, they're also a little bit lighter, which is also a big plus. It reduces the overall weight on your quadcopter. And I really do recommend these motors. And I might actually pick some more up myself just to do more testing on after I send this one to the winner. So, yeah, and the giveaway's closed. He won uh, the other day. So, yeah, these motors, I really recommend. I really liked them. Um, I didn't have a lot of use on them just yet. Maybe around, I don't know, 50 lipos so far. And they're still insanely beautiful. Now... Uh, let's move to another motor which was good and then I tried a different motor. This is also a good motor here. There's the 20 the Sunny Sky 2305 2400 kV. Now this motor when I first used it it was on a lighter setup. Now you might see it missing why because I was testing it on the test bench here uh, for the videos. Now this motor just amazed me on my first quad. I forgot what I had it on. It was a light, it was a lot lighter setup than this. And I decided to put this whole setup on a heavier quad to see if the motor performed still the same. And it actually did, and it was very surprising. And it was very it was good on the battery too. And it was hella fast and powerful. So these were very good motors, but they're just they're they're very good, but they're just better, you know. That's what I'm trying to say here. I really like these motors. I still would recommend these motors. They're pretty powerful. Usually Sunny Sky were known for bad bearings, but this one's taking a lot of crashes and the bearings are still perfect. So I really like that. That's a huge plus. So these are good also. But now 
let's move to my favorite motors. Now, this one, the F60s, not the pros. The, I have the new pros. F60, for, for just if you've been watching my channel for a very long time, you know I was totally against F60. I hated F4, FT motor motors. I just really hated them. Um, I had the worst experiences with the F40s and F60s before. I would put the prop uh, the prop nut on, leave the quad for a little bit while I'm preparing my controller and stuff, and all of a sudden I start hearing pops, and next thing you know, the shaft just pops off and there's no propeller on the quad. That happened to me a couple times, not just once, on different models also. And it's not that me, I'm over tightening it. It's just something was wrong. I think the quality control was just terrible for the shafts. And now they have a lot better. And now they've actually become my favorite motors because they're just ridiculously insane, to be honest. So I do have the pro versions, the new pro V3s. And I do have these normal V3s. I think this is the one that won the multi GP, but who cares right now? Let's just talk about it. So this is the F60 V3, not the pro. And um, the torque on it is just ridiculously insane. Like it's it's like you're teleporting. That, that's how it felt like. Um, the stopping power was just gorgeous. And overall, it was pretty interesting to see how well the battery was taking it. You know, the battery wasn't getting too hot. And I really like that. And this is this is these two right here are my favorite setups. However, I'm going to be replacing this frame because the diatone frame just you know the aluminum they're using is crap and um, it just the, the VTX doesn't hold anymore. So I have a zip tie there. So I really I don't want to deal with this in the field. So I'm going to replace this on some other quad because I really like this whole setup is insane in here. So these motors are good, but my favorite motor and my favorite setup of all time is this here. Now this is the F40 uh, 2600 KV motors and a Dal RC engine, Kakute V2, a cheap Foxeer camera with a GoPro lens and a cheap Eoshin TX526 and an XM Plus radio receiver and the frog like frame obviously. This is by far the ultimate freestyle. You could possibly even use it for racing. It's so quick, it's so efficient, well not so efficient, but it's efficient for how strong it is. And how powerful it is and um you know you can get away you can get out of most hairy situations punch that throttle you're all the way to the moon it's ridiculously insane how quick this thing is and powerful and uh the power delivery with such high kv usually it's like a slingshot and then it just pushes you towards the end you just get launched however here it felt very consistent and i really really like that very consistent and um this motor I'd recommend for anyone. Uh, it has taken a beating. I put a lot of lipos in this one. This is my go-to quad personally when I just want to fly by myself and just enjoy flying. Uh, this is the one I just go usually and grab. <coughs> now, um, yeah, this this these are the motor updates. Now, what else did I use? I've used other motors also, but n yeah, I've used other Sunny Sky motors. I've used... Um, they're nothing, nothing, nothing competes with T-Motor at the current moment of time, in my opinion. But what I want to do is I want to reinstall my Emacs 2306 2750 KV motors. I remember back then, uh, the only reason I stopped using them is because they were so amp hungry. They were just ruining my batteries. They were puffing my batteries like crazy. And uh, I want to give them another try, maybe on a lighter setup and seeing how well that'll do. And I was less experienced back then. And now I'm a little bit more experienced and I, I just I could do a little bit more testing just to understand what's really going on with that motor. And uh, my favorite, it used to be, and it still is pretty good motor, the Emax 2306-2400 kV. However, it produces a lot of noise. So if you don't have strong enough ESCs, you're going to have a lot of problems, jitters, weird motor sounds. And yeah, you need a proper ESCs for those motors because the magnets are so strong. And they do create, tend to create a lot of noise sometimes, a lot of times actually. So yeah, take that into consideration. However, these look at that, they're not even notchy. They're a little bit notchy, but they're just smooth. So overall, I really like the T-Motor. I will be testing the T-Motor Pros. I have the F60s and the F40s. I'll be installing them soon on a quad or a build. And uh, we'll take it from there and see how well that does. So in 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 originality, well originality, well back then this is my motor testing quad and I already you know used it. I really like this quad by the way. This frame is awesome, but the thing is, uh, the the motors here I never really got to replace it. So you know what? I think we're gonna test the uh, T motors, the newer ones on this here. It'll be pretty interesting. So this is using a Racer Star four in one ESC with a Matic F four hundred five, the old Matic with the yaw twitch issue. And what surprised me with the Racer Star tattoo here, the 4 one tattoo, is that, you know, the Matek is very 
sensitive or very picky to ESCs. That means if the ESC is not really that good and creating a lot of system noise, you don't not necessarily have to see it on the video feed. It'll get that gyro to twitch like crazy because this is using the old uh, sensitive gyro. Now they released a newer one with a less sensitive gyro. But this, you know, th this ESC proved how good it is when I set it up with this guy. It was also actually a test for myself to see how good this ESC was because in testing it was pretty good. And um, it didn't fail me, which is very surprising, and I'm very happy with that, actually. So overall, this is a very nice setup, too, if anyone's wanting to do this kind of setup. It flies very nice, but like I mentioned, these motors were very underpowered. I was expecting a lot more from 23XX class motor, and um, yeah, it was, it was a huge fail, in my opinion, for these motors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with something else now, and we can do a little test on it. So it'll be pretty interesting. And well, that's really it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope someone got some useful information out of this. Um, I'll leave a link to everything down below. They are affiliated links. So if you use them, that'll be great. It'll really help the channel. And um, you could also uh, join my Patreon. That also supports the channel, keeps it going. And I do a lot of awesome giveaways to my Patreons. So you have your probabilities of winning are pretty high so um i don't have any patreon so you can easily possibly win something i do like three to four giveaways a month some proper stuff micro quads premium components escs all kinds of crazy good stuff and well that's it guys so that's gonna include it for this video and just a little uh another you know micro class sized motor just if you missed the previous video or i don't know if i even uploaded that video these motors here are the best motors i've ever used for a micro they are the 1106 6000 kv with 2.5 inch props. Now they're rated for two inch props, but I'm using them with 3S 2.5 inch props, and I'm using the Racer Star props here. And I have never, ever, ever flown a micro quadcopter that flies like this one at all. Now, if you're curious, what frame is that? This is the drone mesh split scene. This is my design. I cut this myself and I've designed this myself. And there's only a limited quantity. If you wanted, you could email me. And uh, the stack in here is the HDLRC F428. Now, this thing is an absolute beast. You have no idea. I've never flown a quad like this. I'll show you guys the video, video footage later on of this guy. And um, yeah, it'll be pretty interesting. And well, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it was useful to someone out there. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That really supports the channel. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.